whoa, sorry about that. I <laughs> just, I thought I should move my chair up. So let's just like totally bump the table. Anyway, huh, let me make sure that Facebook's on. We're using the beautiful autumn bundle tonight. <gasps> yes. And thank you, by the way, for joining me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Wait, I'm waving to you like you're down here. Hi, everybody. Hi. All right, let's get Facebook cooperating. Come on. There we go. You're on quite the angle because this we're downstairs. We are in my downstairs studio for the first time. Like what? Seriously, we are. Hey, Lee. Hey, Catherine. Darlene. Hello again. <laughs> Alrighty. We have a lot that's going to happen in this in in today's video. So I'll get to it. So I'm Sandy from Molly and Sand. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. My card today is a card that um, I posted on a global blog hop. Um, we're called Positive Inkers. And um, so that card's already, the card is actually already up. I just have to add the video. So again, here's the bundle we're using. Beautiful Autumn. It is photopolymer. For those of you who like to see through your stamps, this is the stamp set for you. Hey, Valerie. Welcome. Okay. And like I said, because this is the first time I've set up this way and I have a brand new light that I'm trying out, I'm hoping it's light enough. I'm hoping that everything sounds good. So anyway, so these are the, this is the bundles. You get these three punches and of course a stamp set. Bundles are worth it because if you, you can buy the stamp set. Yay. You can buy the, these but you're gonna save 10% when you buy them together. So because we, one second while I reach, because we all love saving money, it makes sense, doesn't it? Hey, Tracy, hey, Marcy. Oh, my light just went out. Why did you do that? This is the new light. I'm like, you can't do that, I'm talking. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. Um, Janice, Tracy, Marcy, hello. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do um, is a little bit of work on this. Now this paper, is from hmm, 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 hmm. Ooh, Gilded Autumn. There's the bright side, the Gilded, Gilded Autumn Specialty DSP. But I really like this side. And this is perfect, a perfect backdrop for this card. Alrighty, so I love the speckles. I didn't do that, that's already in the paper. So it's crumb cake with what looks to be early espresso splattered on it, love it. Okay, so we are going to take soft suede. Look how old this is. It is an older style. The linen type still works. That's all that matters. So the first thing we're going to do is use sponge, sponge daubers. Now, if you bought cheapy ones, like I said, I did remember in a previous video, I had done in, um, oh, I just wanted some more. Yeah, don't buy them. Don't, do not waste your money. Um, mine were from a surplus store and they were crap. <laughs> okay, so this is again soft suede, sponge dauber. I took off some of the color and I'm just going to make in circles. Now most of this is going to get covered up so I'm not concerned if I get one of those. See that circle there? Normally we avoid that. I took off too much ink. Alright, so I'm not concerned because that's going to be covered up. And if I did that by accident, you know I would cover it up because that's the way I do things. There we go. Trying to add in chip. Ah, don't do that to your paper. Um, now don't do what I do. You have to hold on to your paper. So for those of you who are on my uh, newsletter list, you got a, a, a newsletter today, my September newsletter. And like, wow, I hope you like, like the... Uh, the fact that you can now get the stamp and cut and boss machine and you can become a member, a team member with a really fabulous deal. Okay, so that's done. It looks like a dog's breakfast. Looks horrible. Don't worry about it. It's going to look pretty when we're done. So we are going to do a little watercolor. Oh, I was going to say, where's my watercolor paper? I almost freaked out. So our watercolor paper is Fluid 100 watercolor paper. I have used piles of different watercolor papers and this is the only ones from Stampin' Up! It's the only one in all my mixed media in everything I do. It's the only one I like. That's 
that is big. So all my other stuff is basically just going to waste. So we're going to get the paper wet. I got my water spritzer. And I don't know if you know this, but we have new water pens, water color pens. I think that's watercolor or water pens. Hmm. Don't remember. Anyway, so you get this with them. Now, the previous ones weren't stamping up, but these ones are. So they actually cost less than the other brand. It has a ballast where you fill up with water. So we don't need those right now. I'm just saying that they're there. This is a water spritzer. And I am, yes. Ooh, put that lid back on. It's loose. Make sure they're on. I'm just going to spritz the paper. And this is basically just protection. Watercoloring can be messy. You will probably get inky hands. Now, if you don't like your paper doing this where it bows, then what you're going to do is get yourself, I think washi tape would work, but I really like painter's tape. Um, and use that. So this is saturated. And hold it down. For the purposes of this, I want the colors to mix. I want everything to like kind of come together. Alrighty, get ready for this. This is the biggest block we have. I'm not sure why I brought this downstairs, but you know when you're just grabbing things, going, what do I need, what do I need? Yes, they do have assorted tips, you are right. Oh, I should probably show you that. So this is a nice wide brush. You can tell I've used it a lot. It's stained green, don't worry about it. And then we have your, eh, there we go, I'm already inky. We have a fine tip and then a super fine tip. We're coloring, we're going to cover a lot of, uh, like this whole card, thus I do want the thicker. Now you will probably want to have a rag with you and this one is wet, quite wet. All right, so to achieve the colors that we're going to get, there's two ways of doing this. One, you can take a smaller block than this and just press it into your ink pad. I happen to like really, really, this card needs really vibrant, um, really vibrant colors. So I decided, and I'll tell you what colors I'm using, to use my re-inkers. Okay, so this one is Magenta Madness and this is Cherry Cobbler. That's our first two colors. And then we're going to use Mango Melody and Bermuda Bay. And you'll find out why I'm using these colors. Now, I know some people like to um, dry their colors in between because they don't want them going into each other. Like you don't want to end up with muck, basically. Um, that's why I keep a rag handy, not usually a wet one, but this is okay. All right, so, and my paper's starting to dry already under my three lights, so spritzer, come back. Let's get this wet, because um, you'll notice that I, I don't put the reinker directly on. I tend to get a blotch. I don't want that. I don't want that. So, oh, 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 someone didn't clean their water painter. Oops, bad me. Okay, I was playing along with this this afternoon. I was bad Sandy, bad Sandy. Oh, that's not gonna do. All right, so we get out our spritzer. Um, I have sprayed my entire table, by the way. Yeah, make sure that points the right direction. I'm not, I am not shy telling you that I make mistakes. I do, I do some weird things. All right, much better. Might have a little bit of tint in color. I guess that's the wrong way. I'm going to find out, aren't we? Okay, so first one, come back. The first color was the Magenta Madness. Is that all on the screen? Let me just take a peek. Oh, it mostly is. Let's move it down. This is a hideous rag, by the way. So um, any old icky rag that you don't care about will do. All right, so let's give a little water beside there, 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 and there. Everybody's got some water keeping our spritzer handy. Because I really, this has a ballast for water, but I'm not going to use it a lot. Now you see the way it just takes off color-wise? I love that. I love it. A little bit of cherry cobbler. I don't want to lie. Now I did end up with a blotch that I'm not really thrilled with, but you'll see that it's not really going to matter much. It really isn't going to matter much. All right. One, let's get the paper wet again. And if you have any questions about uh, watercoloring, um, I'm going to try and see them at, read the messages at the same time. 
but if I miss it, I will go back. Hey, Susan. Oh, I hope you can too, because I know you're a few hours behind us here. So hopefully, so this is the um, Mango Melody. You can tell I watered that up quite well. The reason I don't care that these are gonna mix is because this turns kind of orangey, whereas more orangey than it already is. And it goes lighter over here. That's why I'm not concerned. I want them to mix. Um, you're gonna get muck if you put, say, mm, green and blue beside each other. Mm brown and blue beside each other, you are going to end up with a mucky puddle, but not so bad here. Come on. Clean, clean, clean. All right. How are we doing? Oh, too much color. Too much color. There we go. We'll get the water. If I push on this, the ballast, then the water will flow and we'll get this cleaner a lot faster. I hope everyone had a good weekend, by the way. Sounds funny to ask that on Tuesday, but is what it is, isn't it? It's Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Yeah, it is. Okay. I am. It's hard for me to believe that my my grandson is going to be five months. Five months. There we go. On Friday. Wow. That's crazy. Okay. So again, this is quite wet, and I'm going to lay this down. But I am going to do some mixing. Don't get freaked out. I'm going to mix. So I'm going to take some of this. And come in it's starting to turn green and that's what I want now why am I not using a green because I want to choose the color I want to be able to mix it myself and that's just the way I rock and roll if you want to use green green go for it go for it I know where does the time go all of a sudden you're you know your baby's turning uh, 30 this year and you're like how's that possible <laughs> where did all the time go so like enjoy, in other words, enjoy every moment. All right, let's get that a little greener. You know that because, you know, in most of my videos, I, or not most, many of my videos, I like color mixing. I really do. But I want to, I want to choose the mix. I want to be the one deciding. So when you do this, every time you make a card, it's going to look different. So this is going to look different than my sample card. And this is going to look different than I've already got this done and dried, by the way. Okay. I'm going to use a different one just for, where did I lay them? Here, right here. Just for speed's sake. So what you can do and what I do is I then go back in and lay down a little bit more color. If you're happy with it, stop. I'm going to use like every corner of this. I should have kept the scraps to show you how little was left over you know like we, we're not wasting paper here um and i only needed a half and i'll you'll see how many um how many awesome things we got out of it okay so i'm going to i know it's a shame really just use a couple drops maybe one drop start with one drop all right let's get rid of that this is wet i could dry it or or this is really wet or i could put everything aside and bring out really put everything aside and bring out the finished pieces so what i did did i put them back here i did is i took these two stamps from the set and i inked them not in black i used early espresso and then i punched them out using the punches i showed you at the beginning of the video now if, if you look at this one, for example, it's not punched perfectly, don't worry. You're using every single piece, which is why if I missed a little bit at the bottom, I don't care because when you see what I'm doing, it'll make sense. Okay, so that's this is how many I got out of that one half sheet. Now what I had done and just messed up was I had my, I had them kind of like, you can see these colors are not that one. These are not just solid colors, whereas we went into more solid colors over on here, on this side. There. Just to separate them so I have them ready. Now, what am I missing? Nope, nothing yet. So let's bring this piece back in and start building. Actually, yeah, let's start building. I was going to change my mind, but I changed it back. Now, for the sake of the video, I'm going to use glue dots. 
you may want to use glue and that's perfectly fine. I am though going to use a couple of dimensionals. So most of these are going to lay flat, but some will be raised up. So what I'm going to do, I just, I place them. So I have this gigantic tree. It's a fast growing maple. It's in my backyard. It is so big, you can see it from the front yard. It towers and there is no way, no way, I was told by a tree company, in the event, let's pretend I wanted a pool. Oh, hi, Jen, welcome. Um, there is no way they would take that tree out. No way, no how, impossible. Okay, I don't want to, I don't want to. The tree's been growing for a long time, I guess. So what it does though, my tree every fall, is it just, it's, I don't exaggerate when I say there's got to be a million leaves on it, maybe more. And what I'm, what I'm going to build here, it won't look like quite like this, is I'm going to build a pile of leaves basically. So it's kind of like what my yard's going to look like in, hmm, well my tree's a little persnickety and it likes to drop the leaves. Um, closer to November where it's way too cold, way too cold or snowing already um, to get to pick up the leaves. So I'm just pressing these in and if you happen to miss like I did and you don't want your glue dot to show, just push it underneath. So there's not a ton of thought going into this except for pieces like this, like I said, where I, I punched it a little off. It was off. What else do we have? Oh, I like that one. Now. Given that this is, this is the size, this is the um, largest, I should show you. Here they are. This is the largest of the stitched rectangles. So you know that you still have some playroom on either side, which is kind of cool. I'm just gonna concentrate trying to get all these on here. Or, or how about I tell you, how about I do this? Okay, so if you don't get my newsletter, you can get my newsletter by going um, onto my blog. It's don't leave me now. It's um, up in the comments. So you can go there and a little pop-up will well pop up. Huh? Hey Julie, welcome. Glad you're here, my friend. All right, so like I said, I'm just going to make a pile and I'm going to use most of these solid ones as the base. And that just means so you can't see underneath. So I'm just going to be pretty random about it. Pretty random, not completely. Um, when you're doing something like this, you definitely do not want all your leaves going in one direction. That will not look natural. Which is why when I was playing with them and I kind of dropped them on my card, I should make sure that, ugh, one second, I lost you. I lost my screen. Just making sure. Yep, pretty central. Wow, is that video ever behind? Wow, like way behind. I'm still watercoloring. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, um, I basically just dropped them on here and went, yeah, okay, I get what it, I get it. I know what I'm doing now. So even the wrecked ones, keep them, keep them, keep them, keep them. We have a lot of green happening here. On my first card, there's a lot more pink and um, yellows, kind of. So like I said, every card will look different. I love when there's more than one color. One color is boring, right? extra colors or not. Now, I, you know what? I do have to stop because I'll tell you why. For the first time, seriously, for the first time on my video, like ever, oh, uh oh, don't drop. I'm gonna heat emboss. I'm gonna bring out more envelopes. I did promise some heat embossing and I need to do this so I know how much space I have left. Hey Grace, welcome. Thank you for joining. All right, so when you heat emboss, you're going to need Versamark. I've had this forever. This is, this is, I made a mess. So whenever you're heat embossing, close that before you turn the um, heat tool on. All right, I'm gonna see if I, if I can get away with one of these. Nah, I'm gonna do two. You know me, I do two, just in case. So you need your, you need your embossing buddy. Um, we no longer sell them, however, if you go online, if you're going to Amazon, you can probably find one there or maybe a local craft store. Okay, so this is Versamark. It's clear, it's sticky, and this, I was gonna say, I, oh, 
I was just about to say, where's my, where's my embossing powder? That would not be a fun video. It's a little bit hard to tell, but it should be. I don't want to press it in really hard. Anyway, I'm just going to go like this. You can't see this when you're doing this, but you can see it a little bit, a little bit shiny, but I can't tell if it worked. And that's why I always do too. Not only that, I, if, it, if it all works, then I'm going to have two, one for each card. Okay, when you store this, store it upside down, okay? That is for the, um, ee, come to Sandy. That's for the ink, so it stays at the top. Now, I do a lot of heat embossing in white, and I forgot my other piece, so this should be fun. Um, one moment while I grab something. What can I grab? Um, okay. I know what. This was the original one. I cut the wrong size, so we'll just go with this. Okay, so this is five little containers of white embossing powder. And all I'm going to do is put that on top. So the, what the um, embossing buddy does, it takes the static off. All right. Okay, that should be good. I'm not, this, the, you want to watch with the powder because I keep it in here because I, ha I tend to get it everywhere. It's really safe inside the container when you hear all four sides snap. So here comes my heat tool. Sorry about the noise. I'm warming it up first. One sec. You know what I just noticed? This one doesn't actually look very good, but I can take my fingernail. I see little bits. I'm going to cut it pretty close to it, but I got a glue dot on my finger now. I'm wondering what on earth. Okay, here we go. i sorry. This is really hot. Use a bigger piece of paper than you need to keep your fingers away from it. Okay, so here comes the magic. Oh, hope that's in. I'm not sure if that's in frame or not. There. It has this little kickstand. Use it because it's hot. That will keep it, keep your surface safe. Okay, so we're done with that. Now I'm asking myself, what did I do with my cutter? Oh, jeepers. One second. Haven't quite figured out the new setup yet, you know? It's kind of like where I put everything. It's a smaller table than upstairs, but I like the space. Okay, oh, thank you, Janice. It is going to be interesting. All right, so let's take a look. The heat gun melted the powder and you can use it like right away. So I want to cut these in skinny strips. They both look okay, but I think I want, I have to cut this one first or otherwise I can't cut it at all. So just in case it's salvageable inside this trough, like on my other videos, that's what we're aiming for. So I'm hoping, I'm trying to see where my camera is and see if that's the right angle. I'm just sliding my cardstock. It's not up here because I didn't try to stamp straight. And cut. Nice and close. Yay! I like when that works. Alrighty. Side number two. Again, I don't I don't know that this one's perfect, but I'm I'm gonna try and salvage it. Okay, so I can still through here from my point of my viewpoint, I can still see the the um, embossing. So I'm just going to move everything down and slice. And that's how you do it. I don't use my mini cutter for this. Um, I need, because I can't really judge on it. And if you have this, well, you're going to use your paper trimmer, obviously. Anyway, here we go. Same thing. A little bit further, I can still see it. Usually what I try to do is move it all back at the same time so everything's even, but sometimes you just have to wing it. Nice and close again. That's what we're looking for. 
you I suppose you could use scissors but uh, maybe if it was one word but not not this is too long too long for this girl anyway Alrighty, let me just do that very slowly there we go please be straight well if you're not sure you do it again right yep okay just do it <laughs> Just do it. Be a Nike commercial and just do it. I'm not cutting the end yet because I'm not sure how much I'm going to use. All right, so the reason for that, let's get back to the point, is I wanna know where this is going so I know that I'm not leaving things uncovered. So I'm gonna go about here. So I know I'm gonna to have to put, come with me, there's more. I'm gonna to have to put like a leaf there to cover up some of it, probably not that same color, but we're gonna go for it. So let's just do it. Okay, so we would have a musical interlude, but I don't have any music. So um, we're talking about, quickly, we're gonna talk about the joining special while I do this. This is, this doesn't usually happen this time of year. So this is fantastic. When you join as a team member with Stampin' Up! with my team, let's say, let's, hypothetically, okay? Keep bringing this out, by the way. You get talking, but you still have to keep bringing it out. This is the one I did wrong, so I kind of want it to like not be, I'm gonna cover most of it up anyway. Anyway, you can't cut straight with scissors either. I know, oh good, it's not just me. I am relieved, by the way. All right, so still plunking these in, and because I'm using glue dots, I can position them, reposition them, however I want. And I even repositioned some after I was done on my sample, by the way. So it can be done. That's why I'm using glue dots. You might say, jeepers, that sounds expensive, but it's worth it if you get to, you know, keep doing things. Anyway, so with the joining special, I don't stand track, Sandy. <laughs> it's late. What can I say? Um, you always, always in the catalog, this doesn't change. Oh, look, there's one hiding back here. It's like, ooh, squirrel. You always, this deal is always available. For $135, you get to choose $130, $165 in product. So that's always available and that's always fabulous. But right now, September only, for the month of September, you can join, same thing, $135, get $165 in product, no tax in most provinces and there's no shipping. ka -ching. I am saving you money. Let's take another look at where we're at. It's looking good. And, but this time there's a bonus and it's for you. The bonus is that you get, keep bringing it out, you also get two free stamp sets and they are, can I remember, Queen Anne's Lace and So Much Love. Okay, so that's two, and they're free. That's over and above your starter kit. Plus you get basic rhinestones, plus you get enough cards, cardstock pieces to make 16 cards, all for $135. That's crazy. So I wouldn't suggest it to you if I didn't think it was the way you should go. You always wanna tell your friends about something good, right? Because if, if you don't, and then they find out from someone else, and they're like, why didn't you tell me? I'm like, well, I didn't think you wanted to know. No, no, tell them, tell them. So I'm telling you. All right, there's my pile of leaves. So I also want to point out, so here's the soft suede that I put behind. It's just a little shadow that you can just kind of see. If it all gets covered up, meh. So I'm not concerned. But anyway. Anyway, um, I would love for you to join my team. I would love for you to get lots of goodies. Now, one thing that a lot of demonstrators have thought, and I need my, here they are, dimensionals, because like I said, I want to pop a couple of them up. I think I would like to pop this one up right here. So, but these are the minis. I, I didn't have the big ones downstairs, so I'm gonna put two. Um, Oh darn, and then I lose my train of thought. I get like that, you know. Anyway, um, I have a small but fun team and I would love 
to have you join with us and stamp with us. There's nothing better than stamping with friends. Even if we have to do it virtually for now, even if you're in a different province, that's okay. We can do all that on Zoom and we can get to see each other. It's a little bit different. They're all virtual hugs, you know, but it is what it is right now. And as much as you might hate people saying it is what it is, it really is what it is. There we go. This is starting to look more like my yard. Um, I have so many and because the tree takes so long, I don't want that one right now, so long to drop, I end up using my, what's that thing called? Leaf blower and putting them in the back garden because there is no way I'm gonna raise bungalow that I can get all those down the stairs and out before the last pickup. It's impossible. It is, it is. It's crazy, but it's true. All right, this is getting to be a good little pile and I'm liking that a lot, a lot. All right, two left. Now, if I was thinking, or if I'd done a little bit more, I could have put these on the inside. Now, this is obviously gonna lean a little more in the glue dot department, and that's okay, we'll take care of that. Let's slide another one kind of under there as best possible. I'm not, I don't really have a pattern here, by the way. I'm just kind of doing one of those. I do know that I have a spot right here that I want to fill in. That's, isn't that crazy? Now, where is, here it is, where is it? There it is, I knew I brought this. Okay, take your pick tool. You want this. Okay, so let's say you don't want the starter kit, but you want you want what I'm using today. That's perfectly fine. And I am not a hard sell. I'm just telling you what I know. So I have an ordering special. When you order $65 in goodies, in products, you get a package of free dimensionals. If you bump that up by $10, do I want that here? I do. Um, then you get the fall mega tutorial with 82, yes, 82 uh, tutorials free and you get the, the um, dimensionals. We ha Okay, end of that. We're making a card here. Oh, so what did you just do there, Sandy? So I cut the edge off. I don't want it to be super wide. Um, there's nothing here. I don't even know. If, I don't want anything showing. I really don't want to peel off so, so many. So what I'm doing is <laughs> there we go. I do want you to, when we're done, and hopefully it's going to take, it takes like an hour for YouTube to upload the video. I will get that onto my blog. Okay, so now I know. I'm going to cut as straight as I can because I didn't bring my mini cutter downstairs. I'm just about the same size, so eyeballing it. Looks pretty good. Let's put it in the paper recycle. Now, the reason I stopped here is because I know this one's popped up. So I'm going to do a little bit more. How long have I been talking? Oh, not bad. Oh, wow, I can't believe we watercolored and heat emboss. Oh, I found one. Ah, I have an extra one. <laughs> Wee, small things, you know. This one's a little bigger than I want. It's fiddly, but it's worth it, you know. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to go over here with this. Anyway, yeah, do please pop over to my blog. And I love your comments, by the way, whether you leave them here on my blog, on YouTube, because this is going on YouTube as well. Um, apparently it helps me. I don't get the whole algorithm thing. You might. All right, this would be nice if this was straight. So let's just kind of put it there. Did I take the backing off? No, it will never stick with the backing on. <laughs> never. Never, ever. Alrighty. Now, in case you're wondering, is that really what I'm seeing? That it's it's not level? And, and if you know me, here's my pile of leaves. Here is my sentiment. So it's not laying flat. That's what I want. I'm like, yeehaw. And then we're putting it on here. See, it's coming together. It is coming together. And I hope I haven't been talking like my usual auctioneer self. I do apologize for that. All right, so let's go here, here, here. Um, you can use, you can use Tombow. You can use um, other adhesives. 
like our, I can't remember the name of it. I'm terrible for that. Stampin' Act, I can't remember. There's demonstrators on here. <laughs> what is it? Stampin' Stick, nope, that's not it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I can't remember. Thank you, Marnie. I hope I didn't call you Marcy earlier. I'm, I'm embarrassed, sorry. So there's that. I did put, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Here's my basic black card stock. <sighs> Stamp and seal, thank you. You guys are the best. Ladies, not guys. Um, okay, so here's my card stock. Stamp and seal, wouldn't that make sense? Um, we're not done yet because we have more stuff to put on, which I forgot to put on, which means I'm taking it off. I just looked over. You know how bad I am for forgetting that. Okay, so here's my card stock. It's basic black for, oh, thank you. Four, I didn't call you by the wrong name. Four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. So it's one sheet of paper in half, cut down. Keep that, come on off, because I forgot, and I forgot the other stuff too. Oh, forgetful Sandy. Oh my goodness, we're almost done. I am gonna show you the original that I um, put on the block hop. Okay, so what I wanna do is I want something behind here. When I think of fall, I think of golds, but and okay, I took a little artistic license and put in some pink. Why not? You know, it goes, it just with the black, phew, it's crazy. So what I want to do, I want my tassel end here. You know, I always do it. I've almost used all of this. I need more. So I'm on two fingers. There we go. Go around a couple times and have an end. All right. And scissors, please be on my left side. Good. Okay. So because I forgot my stamp and seal, and I'm gonna have to peel this up just a little bit. Oh, you come off of there. We'll see how this works. I know I should just show you the finish, but no, no. All right. I don't want these loops to be the same because again, that's, there we go. I want them different. And I want it to flow. I like my cards to have movement. They're definitely moving right now. Okay, I am gonna cut this a bit. So I want you to do this. This is, this is, what is this? This is the gold trim from the Forever Greenery Trim Combo Pack. Now you notice on my videos, um, by the way, I give you all my measurements here. I don't, I don't retype them because that's just like more work. <laughs> so you need to watch my video if you want the measurements, just saying. Okay, and you are watching. So I want that piece that way and this one to unravel this. Just pull it apart, just make it cute. I might want that shorter yet. And then hang on to these because they're like, it's kind of like being at the hairdressers, you know, with all those little bits of hair. I know this seems a little bit tedious, but it isn't. But we're not done because I need to use these. These are like, these are the mm, gold glitter enamel dots. So I've used a whole bunch. As you can see, all of these are gone. All of these are gone, but I still have medium tiny and this is gonna to have to do. So we'll see if I can get these up. Let's put, let's go here. A little bit of bling and a little bit of shine. You know, I wasn't sure I wanted to use a basic black um, base, but I really am liking it a lot. I could have used early espresso, but the the black against the, the pink and the green were just like, oh yeah, and fit that one in there. Okay, these can just do whatever they want on the card. They can droop, they can do whatever. Let me make sure I told you everything. I did, I told you all the supplies. So then on the inside, whew, thank you, I'm glad you like the card. Thank you, yeah, Mar Marty, you're gonna have to go back. On the inside, I did decide to use, oh, very vanilla, no way, I did. This would be, hmm, four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I just happen to have that one, so why not? I could put it on the front of the card, or I could just put it there. That's our card. Now, what I want to do is show you the original, the one that's actually on my blog. So it's a little bit different, the loops, because I remembered to do them before the video, or before I tack that down. Looks like I can still play with these a bit. And I, I could maybe after the video, I'll change the sizes just a wee bit. 
I like this one because they're different sizes. So this is the what the card you'll actually see on my blog, um, on the positive inkers on my Lonely and Sand blog. I will put the full link up in the up in the description, make it easier for you to find. There they are. So this is what I mean by watercoloring. So here's our watercolor paper that we did at the beginning. Hopefully that's in frame. I'm still watercoloring on the video, so it is so far be not working on my computer. I probably have to refresh. So with this one, I'm going to get a lot more in the oranges and a little less pink. But when you stamp on this, and I'll just show you, it's a little bit wet. Did I keep it? No. One second. I want to show you how to not waste the paper because it's... Not that we're paper wasters, not saying you are, but you have to think about the way the punch goes, right? Which I set aside, so here's one. The punch goes this way, so I want to, for example, this is early espresso. I want to stamp this direction. I didn't like the black against this, by the way. Yes, I did try, and I'm... I would try to alternate because I did a whole bunch of these and then I did the this one and found I, I wasted a little bit of paper, but the scraps were minimal, like crazy minimal. That's upside down. So <laughs> don't listen to what I say. So when you punch, and I won't punch it because it's not dry yet, and I'm lucky that didn't totally bleed, but it didn't. Do it again, I'll show you the proper way. Make sure that you're stamping this direction. If you mess up and do something like it's too light, keep it. Put it underneath the pile of leaves because you are going to use this entire page. So I had hardly any space left. Um, if this was dry, I would, I would definitely show you. But yeah, don't do what Sandy did here because you'll end up cutting it and having to add a little post-it note to be able to fit it in. It's not, it's not gone forever. But uh, the colors in they're just beautiful so i would love to see you do this now my question to you is is this a card you think you can make can i answer that for you yes you can i always want to make cards you can make because it makes sense i'm not going to show you something that's so crazy ridiculous that you can't make this you can do all i did was watercolor a page if you're not confident having the colors mix dry in between the colors on your watercolor paper. Just use our watercolor paper, seriously. The other paper you are not gonna like. You will not get the same results. And um, yeah, just punch out a bunch. That's like one, two, and then those pieces, and a little bit this. Yeehaw! Anyway, you really helped me out by your comments. If you can share, I know if you're a demo, you're not gonna share, that's okay. That's okay, that's okay, I totally understand. Um, but definitely, if you want to sign up for my newsletter, head on over to my blog and whether you're a demo or not definitely go to youtube um subscribe because you can see all my videos are there and you can see this little picture and you go i want to look at that one thank you Whew, i feel like i've talked like yeah for 43 minutes i feel like i've talked forever joining special ordering special you got it you got it all thank you so much for your wonderful comments um, appreciate it. Thank you for stamping with me tonight. Um, I'm liking my 8 o'clock time slot, so I hope you do too. I will see you next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, bye-bye.